Hi, my name is Nick Sandoval. I am an assistant professor here at Tulane University in the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, and I am going to show you today how to get a sequence from a gene using the online database KEG. First, let's navigate to the KEG website. So searching through Google, we see that KEG, the Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes, the second link, and we come to the home page, which has pathways, genomes, genes, compounds, glycans, etc. For us, we are interested in actually looking at organisms. So let's say we'd like to look at the gene SPO0A from Clostridium pasturianum. The first thing we do in this list of keg organisms is search for Clostridium pasturianum. And I'm going to use the second link here, Clostridium pasturianum DSM525, which should be the same as ATCC6013. I'm going to click on its four-letter abbreviation, CPAT. And now we're on the Clostridium pasturianum page. Before we search for the gene, let's look at a few different features this homepage has. First, we can see that the full length of the chromosome is 4,352,101, and that it's a circular chromosome. There are no plasmids associated with this genome, but if there were, you'd see them right below here. We can see that in addition to the number of nucleotides, there are 3,988 genes, that encode for proteins, and 111 RNA genes. So let's search for SPO0A. We search for SPO0A, and we see here we get one entry, and it is correct. The two-component system response regulator, stage zero sporulation protein A. So let's click on that link. And here we see the genes page. First, it gives us the gene uh, entry, the gene name, a definition, and other pieces of information about it. If we scroll down, we can see the amino acid sequence, which is 275 amino acids long, and the nucleotide sequence, 828 nucleotides. It, of course, starts with ATG and ends with the stop codon tag. Now, let's say we wanted to view something more, say, a ribosomal binding site or a promoter associated with this gene. If we wanted to search for those, we would have to look upstream of the gene. So let's look 200 bases upstream. When we click on it, we could see that it returns a longer sequence of two colors. First, we see in blue the coding sequence, again starting with ATG and ending with that tag codon. And then in black, which may not be readily apparent, are 200 bases upstream of the gene. Notice we see the locus of the start and the locus of the finish of this particular sequence here. And so that's it. Happy hunting.